All right, we're gonna check out our anaerobic digestion prototype built in Whitehorse in March 2020. We're entering our building here. We've got our uh, 100 liter storage tank where we'll uh, store our blended feedstock. Um, from the storage tank, we've got a inch and a half PVC pipe going through the wall into uh, into the building where the digester is housed. Um, we've got a macerator pump here that will pump the feedstock from the storage tank into our digester tank. Um, here's our digester tank here. It's a 225 liter uh, rectangular plastic drum. Um, we've got a, a variety of uh, inlet and outlet uh, um, bulkheads into our tank. Um, the one on the front there is uh, where we'll uh, extract our digestate from at the bottom of the tank. We've got a, a faucet near the top where we'll extract our uh, liquid nutrient solution. We've got a, this is our temperature probe on the side. Um, that will provide real-time data logging of uh, internal temperature of the of the digestate inside the tank. On the other side of the tank, we've got a um, inch and a half uh, PVC pipe coming out. Um, this will serve as a, a circulation. So this PVC uh, connects up to to our PVC here and feeds back into our pump, so we can uh, close the valve coming from the storage tank and uh, turn on the pump and the pump will um, circulate the digestate and provide some mixing inside the tank. Um, we've hooked up the pump to this uh, inverter so we can simply just turn the switch on and off and you can hear the pump running. Um, we've got our uh, our gas outlet line there, as well as our uh, immersion heater entering the top of the tank. Um, so inside our tank, on the left hand side there, we've got our uh, 1300 watt immersion heater that will uh, heat the tank. And on the right side there, we've got our temperature probe, um, like I said, collecting real time internal temperature inside the tank. The immersion heater is thermostat controlled, so we'll just set that temperature to 37 degrees Celsius. Um, so this is where the gas will leave the tank and it will flow into our uh, wet tip gas meter. So every 100 milliliters of biogas that's generated this uh, meter will flop um, back and forth and as it flops back and forth we've got a counter here that will go up so based on the number of counts um, we'll be able to tell the volume of gas so as you can see right now the counter is at two and when you flop the meter a hundred milliliters of gas flops over the meter now reads three so, once the gas uh, enters the wet tip meter, it will exit and enter our two filters. So the first filter is going to be our steel wool, and that's meant to remove the hydrogen sulfide. Um, from that filter, the gas will enter the second filter, which will be sodium hydroxide, and that will filter out the carbon dioxide. So the gas that's leaving the second filter should be mostly methane. Um, we've got a, a four-in-one gas meter that measures uh, oxygen, explosive uh, levels, so butane, propane, methane, um, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen sulfide. Uh, this is our uh, blender here that will blend the feedstock prior to putting in the uh, storage tank. Um, we've got a, a, a one cubic meter gas storage bag um, or a thousand liters so when the gas leaves the the second filter it travels over here down the wall to this uh, T 
So we've got uh, one T going into the uh, gas storage bag and the other T will go to our uh, natural gas heater that we've got. Um, the uh, probe that you see there is a, a, a pressure, so that will measure the, 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 um, the gas pressure inside the, the, the bag. So from there, um, our gas will be hooked up to this uh, fairly simple uh, natural gas heater where we plan to uh, burn our methane and heat the building. So that's the system. We've got uh, we've got a data logging system. So for our uh, temperature inside the digester, we've got uh, external air temperature monitoring, um, internal uh, temperature monitoring inside the building. Um, we've also got data logging for the uh, for the pressure sensor there. Um, we've also got um, monitoring uh, for energy usage. So this uh, immersion heater will have a, a monitor uh, to determine the uh, energy use for that. Um, we've also got four 250 kilowatt solar panels on the roof which will be monitoring the energy production from those four solar panels. And then we're also going to be monitoring the total energy usage of the building so that we can compare that um, to the gas uh, that's uh, being produced from the tank. Um, we plan to pump about six uh, liters of feedstock into our tank per day. Um, so that means we'll be uh, extracting about six liters of uh, liquid fertilizer per day as well because the the volume inside the digester tank uh, always remains uh, constant and our feedstock uh, is going to be a mixture of cow manure, uh, pig manure, uh, food waste and a little bit of slaughter waste, um, about 5 to 10 percent slaughter waste. We're going to be doing um, batches um, so we'll start with manure, um, introduce the food waste next and then introduce the uh, slaughter waste uh, last. Uh, we, we plan on uh, running the digester for about three months. It's uh, the end of March now, so we plan on running it until uh, July. And um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how effective our system is and how much um, gas we generate. We, we plan to generate about 400 liters uh, per day. Um, so this bag is a thousand liters, so um, this bag should theoretically fill up in uh, two and a half days. Um, so yeah, we'll see. All right, we'll keep you guys posted.